Good, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are for the session. Thank you for uh, for joining us. Um, so, as Cindy said, I'm Jason Matthews, CEO of uh, DigiPlan. We're an integrated uh, plan review provider uh, working with CityWorks. And today I've got the pleasure of discussing a recent implementation at uh, the city of Rexburg uh, and some of the challenges and, that we faced and how it was delivered and uh, some of the uh, benefits that came out of the project. Um, I just want to say thank you to the city, uh, thank you to our implementation partners, TruePoint, and the team at DigiPlan in preparing, supporting the materials for this. So for those of you that don't know the city of Rexburg, uh, it's uh, in Madison County, state of Idaho. Uh, population of 35,000. They've been using CityWorks for about eight years now uh, and they'd made a, a decision that they needed to move to an electronic plan review process uh, with their CityWorks system. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about the, the context of, of that decision. They'd been working electronically uh, for, for some time in terms of their submissions process, so using the uh, the public portal. Um, they'd made their, uh, their mind up that they were going to make a move to electronic plan review, uh, which then happened to coincide with, uh, with COVID-19. So I just wanted to say this up front that they, as the pandemic unraveled, uh, and continues to uh, to affect us all. Uh, that that decision they they felt was was the right decision. Uh, we just happened to get caught up in in COVID nineteen. So, although I'll walk you through the schedule and the time it took, etc., we believe we could have done this in in one month and had everybody up and running uh, in four weeks. But let's walk through the project. I just thought it was good to share some thoughts around the impacts of uh, of COVID at that stage. <clears throat> so just drilling in a little bit to how they were working, electronic plans were coming in through the public portal, but they were also requesting uh, a set of paper plans, uh, three copies, three sets uh, to be submitted to, to the city as part of the application process. Um, as in most cases, uh, <clears throat> on top of the copies that were being submitted, uh, they were also having to create their own copies uh, internally, um, which has its own set of costs and time and, and effort involved in that. Um, and then the plans were then being marked up manually uh, and then rescanned back in, uh, and that process would then follow <clears throat> through to the uh, through to the next cycle. So if you look at a, a view, a visual of that process, uh, what the effects are in the back office, I think it's clear to see uh, from this overview here that we've got a nice intake process through the public portal. Uh, there's a record generation, a case for a generation process that goes on between the portal and the back office. Uh, they also had a, a workflows assigned uh, to the various users involved in the plan review processes, but then they had all this paper uh, to manage. So not only the subsequent, uh, the, the, the applicant providing three copies, but also the copies that they needed to take internally uh, where there were other folks uh, needing to review plans. You've then also got the challenge of where are these plans? Are they the latest revisions? I think we've all seen the paper-based plan rooms in our experience, uh, and it's very challenging with uh, with all those bins and placeholders. It's very easy for things to get mixed up. So there's a lot of manual administration going on there throughout uh, throughout the cycles and throughout the consolidation of markups and scanning, uh, and then the re-uploading back into uh, into the back office. <clears throat> so I, I put this together because I felt that it's important for organizations to understand that this is not a difficult thing to do. 
uh, electronic plan review has in the past um, been seen to be complex, um, onerous, and requiring, you know, a lot of expertise and time uh, to deliver. To deliver, but we're just not in that place anymore with cloud-based uh, integrated electronic plan review. Things have really changed. So we've got quite a small team uh, to deliver projects such as this. So just a uh, somebody involved in leading the business system side, uh, in this case, obviously CityWorks, somebody who owned the uh, the business requirements, so the building official uh, and uh, and their team from a, from a user acceptance perspective. Uh, we had some oversight from CityWorks, which was very helpful, uh, not necessarily required, but it was extremely helpful for all of us uh, to have some referral and, and reference and oversight there, uh, as this was one of the early uh, implementations with CityWorks. And then we had one from the team of DigiPlan and then from our implementation partners, TruePoint, who uh, project managed and helped the supported the training and delivered the training uh, as part of the uh, project team. <clears throat> so what we tend to do with uh, our approach to these uh, implementations is have a look at what's already existing um, within the CityWorks uh, functionality. Uh, in this case, there was already the uh, public portal already set up. As I said, they were taking electronic plans uh, through the public portal. Uh, there was a mature back office so the ability for a document store, um, and then also the workflow was there for supporting the review processes and the distribution of work to the various people that were involved in, uh, in plan review. So that, that starting point allowed us then to play back to the city what the 2B uh, situation looks like versus the as was with the paper that covered up all of the electronic plan review opportunities uh, when, when you implement a technology such as this. So now you'll see you know the plans intake process follows the same flow. The uh, the record the case creation follows the same flow into the back office. The workflow uh, is already there. Um, and all we're doing simply is then adding an electronic plan review process uh, launched from the workflow, which then opens up a world of opportunities and efficiencies for people involved in, uh, in those processes. <clears throat> so now you end up with an experience where simultaneously uh, people can review the plans uh, and then complete certain activities that typically take place, such as calibrations, measurements, standard comments, uh, checklist items, uh, markups, comparisons and overlays, all those good rich features that we need to do each day to assess compliance uh, for, uh, for permitting. Off the back of that then, uh, at a certain point, you would then generate a correction report uh, either at an interim level or at a final consolidated level, apply stamps, uh, corrections required stamps or approved stamps, etc. And then we update the workflow. So now we've eradicated all of the paper based processes uh, and simply slotted into the existing uh, system uh, of CityWorks from a portal perspective through to the back office, flowing through to the workflow. <clears throat> and creating now a, a fully electronic process. I'll talk a little bit about the benefits uh, once we get towards the end here. So now we've considered what the env environment is that we're going into in terms of the setup, what's there already, how do we connect the dots, we're then able to pull out a plan. And you can see here it's a pretty straightforward plan, four weeks, start to finish, but in this case, we identified another opportunity, uh, and, and that was to synchronize the comments between the plan review and the back office to create checklists uh, against the workflow. Um, so that took a little bit of time for us to work out how we do that. Uh, and on top of that, we then got hit by COVID. So that really created some 
uh, some gaps in, in the schedule where we just had to regroup, work out, give the city some space to, you know, to get the teams working remotely. We were already a remote team, so that really didn't have a great deal of impact, but there was some elapsed time there. Uh, and working as a team, we found a way to uh, to ensure that we could synchronize between the plan review tool uh, and the comments, sorry, and the checklists uh, between in the back office of uh, CityWorks. So then what happens is in this, in this opportunity is you can close out in a subsequent cycle, either in the back office, uh, in this view in CityWorks, or you can close out graphically in DigiPlan and the two will synchronize through the cycles. So it was a real win uh, for, for the city to, to implement this additional uh, item that we'd identified in the requirements. From a configuration perspective, and if we move into actually getting this thing stood up, uh, it's pretty straightforward. No customization, no coding required. Um, simple refinement to the workflow, pretty basic stuff. And then the setup, the departments, intelligence stamps, and the correction reports um, in, the, in the configuration side. So that elapsed time that you saw on the project plan is, is really very straightforward. <clears throat> From moving to the configuration side into training support, so uh, getting UAT done, so getting the users accepting the system, getting the system sign off, uh, and then moving into training. Uh, we had some minor tweaks to support the Rexburg configuration, such as the addition of the uh, the sync uh, that I've just talked about there, but it was mainly out of the box. And from system sign off, you know, pushing, I think two to three groups through, uh, we went live uh, in around two weeks. Again, a pretty straightforward uh, process and uh, onboarding for the users and administrators of the system. So from a project delivery standpoint, what did we learn? We learned that it's very good to show the end state first um, because DigiPlan is cloud-based, it's out of the box for CityWorks. We can show that end state without doing anything at all. And that helps people shape the, the thinking around their processes, allows them to get their, uh, for example, their submittal standards uh, built out. <clears throat> if there are any changes to business practice, they can be uh, obviously laid out and, and training can happen. <clears throat> but we also, from a remote perspective, we had a, an issue free uh, delivery uh, and training, and I think the city of Rexburg would attest to that. Uh, with a with a go live uh, from kickoff uh, as little as four weeks, which was a statement that was made, uh, you know, kind of partly through the project when COVID hit, we could have done this sooner and got this done had we known it would be going in so quickly. Um, from Rexburg perspective, it was really straightforward. They had their own processes defined. They they'd already made their investments in CityWorks. Um, they didn't need uh, other systems and processes. They just wanted this to work with what was there with some minor tweaks. I think the efficiencies delivered uh, with the integration of into CityWorks uh, means that there's no redundant data, there's no manual data entry, the data flows from the public portal through to plan review through the back office and back out again. <clears throat> and this all culminates in a lower operating cost uh, lower um, IT requirements uh, to manage the system side. But ultimately, what were the benefits? Switching from plan, from paper-based plan review to electronic uh, ultimately saves significant time. Uh, I think we all know the difference between working with uh, piece, big sheets of A0 um, paper uh, versus what on an electronic screen. Um, Lots of copying goes away, lots of manual data entry into managing versions and bins, etc. <clears throat> what also comes with this is the audit trail. Everything that happens is recorded. Every single markup entity, its date, time, sheet, version, case, everything is traceable uh, through the electronic plan review process. But really another great thing here was business continuity uh, touchless permitting counter uh, application process 
uh, remote working uh, instantly for all the people involved in electronic plan review and a, a very happy set of commercial customers who uh, have had a great experience through the city moving to an, a fully electronic process. So finally, where are we going next? What's next? <clears throat> um, we're going to be pushing the submission standards checking into the public portal. Uh, and what that does is it helps the preparation of the information for the city. It helps the commercial customers, the applicants, ensure that their data is good before it ends up in the back office and potentially sits there before sits there for 10 days before somebody realizes there's a problem. So we're trying to ensure standards are good on the way in and then things permitting plans can be reviewed faster, permits can be issued faster, construction can get done, revenues can be generated. And we've got some really interesting things going on, on around project coordination where you've got slightly larger projects uh, and you want to give your commercial customers access to an overview of all the things that are going on uh, in, uh, in, in their projects. So it's more of a, mo a multi-project coordination uh, capability. Uh, and next year looking into native app for other uh, use cases for, for plan review in the field.